Tube, it's Milma here again with another Xcode tutorial. This Xcode tutorial is a follow-on from my bouncing image tutorial, although it is named differently, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, the first bouncing image tutorial can be found here. Um, and the reason why I named this as I did for the alert view, only showing once, is because that's basically the main point of this video, although I am using the image view tutorial um, to explain how it works. Um, so you can still follow along me, with me if you want to learn how to make sure you show an image view only once. I mean, an alert view only once, sorry. So I'm just going to open my image view project and I'll uh, show you what you need. And in the other tutorial we put a ball statement in the .h here called alert showing. Um, and that ball statement will now become into play. First off we're going to go into the void image move statement and we're going to put our self if collided method just so I can show you what will happen if um, you don't put this ball statement uh, in so if we just build and run and I'll show you what will happen so here's our app here and uh, as I'm moving around you know I'm dodging the image but let's say I accidentally collide now as you can see every time the image collides alert will come up and just it will keep coming up coming up and I click OK but there's another one and another one and another one and as you can see this is getting really annoying and I can't stop it from appearing. So now we need to, if I just quit that, put some code in here to stop the alert view appearing more than once. Um, so like I said in the .h we made a ball statement called alert showing. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over here to our if collided method where we implement our alert and before we say alert show we're going to put an if statement and basically what that alert show is doing is basically showing the alert on the screen and if I took that out the alert won't show so if we put an if statement before here saying if alert showing so our ball statement alert showing is equal to no then show the alert and release the alert yep and basically that's basically what it does it goes if the alert showing, so if there isn't an alert showing basically, so if alert showing equals no, then show the alert. And because we're showing the alert at the moment, we're going to have to change our ball statement down here, alert showing, to yes, because now an alert is showing, because it says it's showing. Um, so now another alert won't generate because this says yes. Um, but now what we need to do is reset the ball statement to know when the alert goes away. Um, and it's really easy to do that if we just go to our void clicked button at index method and before the if statement here, before anything, we're just going to go up here and change our alert showing to no. Because they've obviously clicked a button because the alert's gone away using the clicked button at index. So that means the alert's gone so we can change it to no and another one can generate when it needs to. So I hope that explains it guys, uh, I hope that doesn't confuse any of you, but it's basically using a ball statement to our advantage and making sure the alert doesn't show when we don't want it to. Um, so now if I build and run, you'll see that the alert will only show once rather than a million times. Uh, so you know, here I'm bouncing around and as I hit, the alert comes up but it doesn't come up again. It just stays there until I say, um, okay I want to play the game again. And, uh, you know, I can carry on playing the game and the alert pops up. It collides again, but the alert doesn't pop up again because it's told not to in the code. So if I click OK, you can see another one popped up because we collided. But if I click OK, and you can see we can carry on playing. Oh, I hit there. Uh, and, yeah, basically, <laughs> there you go, guys. Uh, enough playing the game. Um, so there's a quick tutorial on how to make sure an alert doesn't show more than once when you don't want it to. Um, so I hope that helps and I hope that is in use for lots of people because I definitely use it a lot because it annoys me. Um, so next tutorial is going to be on being able to move two images at the same time using the touches began because people have been asking me going well I want to move more than one image because this thing here only allows me to move one image but I want to move more than one. Um, so that tutorial can be found here. And uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and see you in my next tutorial.